let's discuss about uh, control and authority I was mentioning in the previous videos and how it looks like uh, in the spiritual and physical so essentially someone anyone who is trying to seek control authority over somebody instead of authority over themselves is violating a spiritual law because it's not their business to control others and it's also trying to make something change something from what it is rather than focusing on yourself where the change can actually be possible and realistic and uh, this dynamic of seeking authority over somebody instead of claiming and reclaiming our own authority on ourselves is as this this poison that's been spreading in the society anyone who is trying to control somebody overpower them dominate uh, claim that they have the authority to tell decide and control their lives is also being done the same they, they are also in the same position where something else or somebody else is controlling them managing them because it's it's how the universal law works you are what you whatever you are doing when you are seeking that that kind of control and power over somebody by violating the boundary the inherent respect dignity that you should have for yourself and also for others you are already violating a few spiritual laws and in doing so the law is such that you do some things and the same things come to you same things come to you and you keep perpetrating the same things over and over again and this is the loop that keeps going on again it continues it continues somebody did this to me i will do this to somebody else somebody has done this to me i will keep doing this for somebody and uh, when does this cycle stop why can't it be stopped it can be stopped but as long as you are seeking control over others rather than yourself it will never be stopped because the stopping can happen from within you which is the very thing that you are violating and even the society the media again i'll go back to all this uh external things that keep you distracted from the real truth so the one thing that you really have control over is yourself period there is no doubt about that and then there are limitations to control because there are things outside of you that you have no control over they exist as their own for their own reasons and purposes as in just like you if you are saying i will ignore myself i will not respect myself enough and i will not respect others i want to seek control i want to violate somebody and i want to step over the boundaries you are already perpetrating the same things that this 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 external world is trying to lure you into it is telling you ignore yourself self control oh boys are boys oh women are like that when they are brainwashing us into thinking certain things and giving out permanent statements like that they are saying we cannot change or that we should not have ownership or responsibility over ourselves how convenient people are happily giving away their power and ownership and responsibility to others all the time because they are doing it at a price of them trying to control and take ownership of somebody else so ignoring the one thing that you can control you are now going after the very thing that you have absolutely no right to seek authority over the loop will go on because you will never accomplish it not even in the successful way that you have imagined in your head all you are doing is perpetrating violations after violations after violation and that's why the loop goes on and the society is just comfortably justifying it i mean blame somebody else for something and then walk away get away with it it's being literally encouraged and people think just because it is accepted or encouraged or taken lightly that somehow it is the right thing to do 
fallacy fallacy cognitive dissonance why just because a lie is being repeated a one lakh times over and over again it doesn't become a truth just because it will not it will never the nature of the lie is such you with your own cognitive dissonance your uh, conscience being confused and being in pain you use certain justifications logical reasoning and intellectual scientific technological blah 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 to justify what you are doing but all the justifications in the world can never turn a lie into a truth can never turn a truth into a lie so someone says it's okay blame others they don't take ownership just say hey i can't control myself and get away with it or keep trying to fix the problem through external means i can't control myself or really you are the one person who has authority over yourself the control over yourself and what you are saying is i don't want it i don't seek it i don't even recognize it but rather i want to control others i am so happy when i overpower others what are you doing i mean you can think you can keep going on like this without taking ownership without taking responsibility accountability for your own behavior thoughts and patterns and all these choices decisions consequences that come with it society encourages it why it's gaining something out of it but what it is gaining is gaining from you violating yourself and others you have to see this seeking control is inherently violating spiritual law and physical law physical world may encourage it or entertaining i don't care but what you are doing is inherently violating the very essence of being human and that that real spirit the soul within you that's divine because it is not trying to ask you to control anybody else it is taking take it is saying take ownership over yourself you have problems in your mind seek seek to address them you have problems with the body seek to address them know your own self if you refuse to know yourself and you are too busy indulging and involving in other people's lives because you like the drama that comes with it there is nothing good coming out of it for you with your limited vision you are assuming that somehow you are managing other people's life and that seemingly little bit of control is enough to satisfy your ego the false ego and you can keep doing it for as long as it's possible because society tells me i don't have to take responsibility i can pretend i can use vulnerabilities i can use excuses i can use explanations i can use validation scientific explanations or other explanations and i can get away with it and i can always blame others if push comes to show i can always blame others and when is when is the authority blame responsibility account accountability ever coming back to this one person who supposed to be taking accountability for themselves when is it ever going to come there you're busy externalizing you're busy blaming you're busy you're saying oh i'm just like this all the time i you are le- you are letting everybody know that you are not capable of changing yourself the one thing and one person that you have absolute responsibility and control over and then you want to get busy externalizing it excuses reasons explanations vulnerabilities we are all part of the same game we all have them that's why we are human but using them as excuses and removing yourself of the accountability equation and comfortably blaming everybody else all the time is never going to do any good to anybody you know that whoever the person doing it they know it that is why they have to keep doing it again and again and they have to keep telling stories to themselves they have to lie to themselves just to survive every day just to get up out of the bed every day and go to bed go back to bed every day comfortably because they know 
every single one of us is born with the conscience a conscience is not like a body or some other physical aspect it's an intangible thing and it's inherent in us that is why when you violate something that is why when you walk over a boundary that's not yours there is this gut feeling there is this sense of pulling back that is why you feel the uneasy majority of the people are comfortable displacing that guilt or a sense of discomfort that has come from within using external world things fill the gap again like i said talked about in the self esteem things you are doing the same thing in the control and conscience also by busy seeking authority over things that you have absolutely no right to walk into you are ignoring the one person who you are responsible for and i have and to have the full right over when you can say yes i have a tendency to xyz and i will take control over it it's making my life difficult it's it's creating unnecessary problems for me and others and it's not even peaceful it's at the end of the day it is not bringing peace so i will take ownership and i'll work on it i'll fix it i'll work on it that's ownership that is why we have flaws if we are inherently perfect with the physical we, we, we wouldn't have to go through all this the soul itself is perfect but it is helping you get there through your existence here and to do that job brings you a lot of freedom inner freedom happiness freedom in the mind freedom in the body you will start healing you will start you don't have to go to doctors and medications unless you have a very big illness which requires medication absolutely i'm not saying don't take medication but i'm saying there are a lot of uh, physical illnesses and psychological say ph- physiological illnesses their origin is spiritual it's because of what pain we are causing to ourselves our conscience our spirits by refusing to be the human that we can be that we that that makes our lives easier actually and we are doing something that comes in conflict with it by seeking authority and control over things that's not even our job or it's not even our territory this is our territory this is our territory this existence is our territory we take full ownership and authority for it what good comes out of it what bad comes out of it accountability is accountability responsibility is responsibility we are we the good bad and ugly but for that you have to take ownership to be aware of who we are and once you do things in conflict with that you are causing a lot of things to be disturbed in your spirit which will show in your body and mind the, if the origin is purely physical take treatment seek medication seek help definitely important but there are also spiritual aspects which are affecting the same mind and body which will not be cured with medication essentially you need to work on yourself spiritually that brings in a healing that brings in a taking ownership forgiving losing letting go letting go of the need to control others but rather just being in who you are because this is one thing you have absolute control over so pay the attention here inwards not the outwards not others not the world not the things not this not that not your partner not your children not this don't do that redirect to where it is supposed to be and don't be with people who are seeking this kind of control if you are the kind of person who who want to live responsibly responsibly and other persons are seeking control the dynamics is going to be very very damaging and toxic remove yourself from that kind of environments heal yourself work on yourself your body will start healing your mind will start healing if the origin is spiritual you will see the difference but if you are running after control and authority and wanting to uh, overpower somebody and dominate somebody instead of taking control here self control self respect dignity self esteem our own boundaries and not letting others violate our boundaries all power is here 
by externalizing you are only creating more and more drama and damage and you are violating all spiritual laws it's not a problem just that you will whatever law whether it's in sync or out of sync whatever it is that you are doing will always come back to you also you may conveniently lie to yourself that ha huh, there is no spiritual world there is nothing the consequences are never going to come and bite back you can tell all the lies you want like i said in order to violate somebody seek control over somebody seek authority and dominion over somebody you begin to lie to yourself first that's what you are doing and by taking ownership and redirecting attention to yourself authority control and respect on yourself you're taking out all those burdens and essentially making your life easier the one thing that you can actually manage control change mold and build and you don't have to lie to yourself day in day out that's freedom that's the kind of freedom i'm talking about why do you want to live a life where you want to lie to yourself every day for everything initially you will start lying and justifying after a while you get used to it so much that you don't even have to justify the nastiness in you and then what just because you stop justifying doesn't mean the violations are not happening and the consequences are not happening they are all there they will come they are coming and they are doing and that is why look at the world look at the world with the true sense of if i want peace if i want joy if i want respect dignity and peace equality and yet all that's happening around me is this why you think you control something that's not in your control and that's not your job seeking to change more dominate take authority over something somebody groups of people nations whatever it is once you are trying to overpower somebody you are violating a lot of things and then comes a lot of other violations with it and that is why all this nastiness around us so work on it work on this control aspect redirect redirect to yourself self control is such a virtue imagine it brings a lot of freedom you don't have to explain yourself to yourself and others you don't have to lie to yourself you can sleep in peace you can relax you can actually heal yourself of lot of all these vast mo- majority of the psychological issues that i've seen in my practice psychological psychiatric practice majority of them are coming from spiritual abuse that we are putting on ourselves getting carried away by externalizing world and externalizing things in the world rather than in taking it inward and working on it only some part of it is physical diseases or illnesses or issues in the body and mind rest other are spiritual in nature because we are violating ourselves first of all you lie to yourself you want to convince yourself what you are doing is not wrong you want to stay awake you can't you can't be at peace with yourself in silence and loneliness then something is eating you up spiritually work on it address it heal it it's going to be difficult yes but i'll tell you it's going to be much easier than perpetrating violence and more drama more chaos and more nastiness in the outside no it's going to be a lot easier than that it's just that you have not seen it happen somebody convinced you that there is no you and self and spiritual world so you can do whatever you please that is why all this nastiness is piling up the cleaning up is not on the outside here you do it you will start seeing change it will be difficult yes it will be much easier though in comparison to the damage that's happening when you are living the other way around i promise that much i'm speaking from experience first hand experience not even second hand somebody did not come and tell me or teach me this here is the answer control not going to work 